Therefore, O Lord of Supreme Control, o Lord Krishna, please annihilate this great demon Vritasura Tvashta's son who has already swallowed all our weapons of paraphernalia for fighting and our strength and influence. Therefore, O Lord, O Supreme Controller, O Lord Krishna, please annihilate this dangerous demon Vritasura Tvashta's son who has already swallowed all our weapons our paraphernalia for fighting and our strength and influence. So this is a prayer by Devatas. So first thing what we understand, Prabhupada says in the purple, Devatas also go to pray to Krishna with tears in their eyes. The material world is so fearful. Uh, we have all want to make comfortable position in this world. But this world is so dangerous, even sometimes devatas get tears in their eyes. And what do they do? With tears in their eyes, they run to the Lord for saving them. Because all of their lives were in danger. And they do not know what this demon is going to do now. Vratasura was so powerful. So they thought they can fight with him. They all threw their weapons. He caught their weapons with his one hand and ate them. <laughs> they didn't know what to do now. But there is one thing great about Devatas. When they are in difficulty, they go to an authority. What is the great thing? Prabhupada said that is the difference between Devata and Demon. Demon means he thinks he is so much ahankara, I can solve it. Devata means they go to the Lord. And another advantage Prabhupada is saying, even though they are actually, we have been discussing this point, they are Sakha Bhaktas. At this moment, they almost become pure devotees. Because they pray fervently and they have all offered prayers which are all exact, accurate. So actually, just being, there are four qualifications, we can meditate on that. But general class, so public doesn't know. I think many devotees know. What are the four Ways people surrender to Krishna and four ways they never surrender. Four kind of people surrender, to be saved properly. Four kind of people never surrender. Namam dushkutano muda prapadyante naradamaha. So when we say this, we also know that we are also one of these categories. If you remove these four things, your surrender will improve. What are the four things? Namam dushkutano muda prapadyante naradamaha. The muda, first is muda. Muda means donkey. He will work for 20 hours. Correct? Okay? And he will have said, time, why don't you chant? I have no time. It's very difficult for him. The whole life, not only, whole life, no end to his material emotions. You know, sometimes emergency is there, samajata. But whole life cannot be an emergency. Some people, whole life in emergency. You know, so much ugri karma. There no time. I tell them, sit down, read Bhagavad Gita, one page, one shloka, no time. Oh, life busy in economic development. That is muda. He will not become a devotee because anything requires time. Agree? You have to contemplate, you have to think about it. You have to have faith. Krishna is my maintainer. Krishna is in control. Be peaceful. Agree? Krishna conscious, therefore, there are so four kinds of people. Idol intelligence. Brahmana is called ideal intelligence, very peaceful. He is not working himself, overworking himself, very peaceful. Okay, so that is first qualification is Muda. Uh, in the sixth disqualification nectar instruction, Muda can be said in the category of Prayasa, over endeavoring. What can be done, you do. Don't break your head against a wall. But no, I'll over endeavor. Nowadays, modern civilization also encourages people to over endeavor. Prabhupada says this over endeavor is for, this hard work is for animals. We are also working hard. It's not that we are not working hard. We are getting up in the Mangala Arati, we are chanting. That is also hard work. We are reading Prabhupada books. That is also hard work. Hard work doesn't mean only breaking stones. But in nonsense civilization, hard work means I break stones for 20 hours. Then tell him read Bhagavad Gita. Only 4 hours are remaining to sleep. What he will read? Okay. So, Muda. Muda means, this is one way, this person will find it difficult. He will never be able to surrender to Krishna because everything requires time. There has to be 
building faith, building understanding, appreciating Krishna cautious, everything requires time. Taking association of devotees, correct? How do I surrender? I am not able to surrender. I have no faith. This all requires time. If there is time, we can proceed, work on that. If there is no time, then nothing can happen. But this is the first thing. So we should try to see where our mood are. And in our life, any activity which you see, which is unimportant and I am doing it, take uh, advice, strength and get rid of it. Correct? Something we are always... Nobody can say there is no nonsense activity. I know. We waste time in so many silly things. Get rid of them. Then you will be so much free to serve Krishna. Mukta. That is Mukti. Asa Sangha Tyaga. Right? Sangha Tyaga, Sangha Tyaga, Sangha Tyaga. Again, again, Shastra says. Because more we are liberated from the Sangha Tyaga, more we are peaceful. Tadara Jastamo Bhava, Kamalo Bhadayasche, Chete Ete Enavidam, Sitam Satve. Prasidati. When you get free from Rajas Tamas, which wastes so much of our time, we become so peaceful now, so happy. And Krishna can only be served in Evam Prasanna Manaso Bhagavad Bhakti Yogataha Bhagavad Takta Vigyana Mukta Sangha Sajayate. Unless you are happy, you cannot serve Krishna. How will you serve Krishna? There is no proper attitude. The devotee should be first very happy, very fortunate. I am living at the lotus feet of Krishna. I have a fortune to serve Krishna, which may not have been there. Brahmana Brahmide Kono Bhagavanji. If you cannot believe Sri Vashastra says, Kono Bhag, some very fortunate soul. You know? Nowadays, who is fortunate? Somebody moving in a big car, oh, he's so fortunate. Somebody moving with a beautiful wife, oh, he's so fortunate. Somebody having a huge power position, oh, boy, he's so fortunate. This is not fortune. He'll die and become a worm. This is not a fortune. Fortunate is if he's able to peacefully sit and chant Hare Krishna. What a fortune. I'm able to sit and you cannot do it alone actually. Somehow by Krishna's grace we are able to do it. And we do not know. Ajamila just chanted once. Narayana when he was dying. And what was the favor? Yamudutas were countered by Vishnu Dutas and his life was saved. And imagine the benefit we are getting. Sitting and chanting. We do not know. Prabhupada say you do not. They have nothing to lose actually. And what gain you can't even imagine. Correct? We can't even imagine. We can't even imagine. It's so great actually. We do not know what the process is. So this is the first part. Muda. So don't be a muda. Otherwise you will not be able to advance in spiritual life. Okay? Every day we should have keep some time. If we, we should ponder about what we hear in the class or we read. We should think about that. What is said, we rotate it again and again in the mind. Correct? And cut off the material attachments. Number one. Then Prapadyante Naradama. Naradama means sinful activities. And in Kaluga, practically everybody is a Naradama. Kaluga is full of sinful activities. So we should be very, very careful. And you can only be protected by Naradama unless. You can only protect it when you are thickly bonded to the Acharya, Prabhupada says. Because, you know, out of attachment for the Acharya, you will not do. I have told Acharya, I will not do. That's it. Otherwise, on your own, there is no mental strength to handle sinful activities in Kali Yuga. It will come and crush you. Boom! And you are flat on the ground. You, know, you cannot fight. Kali Yuga, it's a place which is infested with sinful activities. So it's impossible practically to be, say, al away from them. But if you are thickly bonded to the Acharya, you will be saved. Because yesterday we discussed that. Bhagavad Gita, what does Krishna say? Namam duskritu no muda prapadyante radhama. No, no, sorry, we discussed another shloka yesterday. Uh, that maya is very powerful. Mama eve prapadyante mayam etam tarantite. He says, those who take shelter of me, Krishna says, Devi Esha Gudamai Mamamaya Durataya. He says this, my divine energy, Mamamaya Durataya, it is impossible to cross over. Mam Eve Prapadyante Maya Mitam Tarantate. If you surrender to me, Krishna says, you will cross over. But we do not see Krishna, how do we surrender? Surrender to the Acharya. The moment you surrender to the Acharya, correct? Then Maya will not touch you. Why? 
because now what is the meaning of surrender we discussed six principles now what is happening the acharya's order has become greater than your mind that is called surrender surrender doesn't mean uh, physically surrender ha huh. it's like in colleges it happen the teacher enters they'll get up but no respect in the heart that is no use nowadays it mainly mainly natak uh, so what is the principle the principle is that don't do sinful activities and how to avoid sinful activities you have to obey the acharya and how do i obey the acharya keep his words more important than your mind your mind is saying it is so enjoyable i'll drink little today all my friends are drinking no i have given my word to the acharya i'll not do it agree okay? intelligence is higher than mind intelligence means determination mind means sankalpa vikalpa i like dislike so if you have given your intelligence surrendered your intelligence okay then what happens you will it's not that you are closing your intelligence but your intelligence is you have developed cultivated a determination that i'll follow the acharya then even if minds are sankalpa vikalpa you don't care just like on ekadashi it's very easy you know we are following a kadashi sometimes we feel are yesterday some gulab jamun is lying or samosa is lying but my intel mind says i'll eat intel no today the kadashi so actually it's not not very difficult just we have to strengthen our intelligence in association of devotees in just like you strengthen your body you strengthen your intelligence therefore when you are reading prabhupad books many time people say what is there i am not body i am soul samajh aa gaya is kitab mein ek hi cheez likha hai but when you are reading all through different angles through realization of so many devotees what happens the intelligence becomes sharp maya has standard 3 4 same tricks only intoxication ye char trick hai maya ke paas koi panchwa trick nahi hai but intelligence is sharp moment it comes you cut off tak imagine you save so 24 hours you save 24 hours is so big time actually we do not know how big time this is okay but your intelligence is sharp then you will know blissfully every movement you are offering service to krishna I just imagine but intelligence is weak then the sinful activities will enter and haunt your mind and one day force you to do sinful activities so we should be very careful so first one is mooda one is so these are all if these things are there it will block your spiritual advance one which is the main mission of human life other things will come and go ठीक है मूडा नराधम देन माया अपरित ज्ञान माया अपरित ज्ञान मीन्स माया हैज स्टोलन ऑल द इंटेलिजेंस अहंकार अब यू नो वॉट यू नो यू डोंट नो एनी थिंग बट सो मच यू नो प्राइड द फॉर मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन आई कीप जोकिंग इज सिंपली क्रिएटिंग प्राइड दे गिव डिग्रीज ऑफ इग्नोरेंस फूस पैराडाइज इन हिंदी में नहीं बोलते अंधे नगरी चौपट राजा कह रहे i collect one fool in the street and i get degree you are a doctor you know everything he doesn't know anything simply give a degree will it be meaningful no no so similarly we gave a giving degrees for knowing nothing simply somebody knows how to bend iron he gets one degree somebody knows how to make some cement he gets one degree nonsense actually you give a degree you know how to bring cement say that much only but no thing i am very knowledgeable now what is the nonsense actually so maya aprita gyana those who are proud of their knowledge they will never surrender to krishna you know at least a per se beginning we should understand great learned personalities like madhva acharya ramanuj acharya lord chaitanya such great scholars like viragava acharya shukde goswami jeev goswami can't even imagine what great they all surrender to krishna who am i i am a tiny person therefore in bhagavatam every time now the devatas are with tears are approaching krishna what prabhupa says he immediately comment go go surrender what do you think you are a big man just like in bhagavatam bhishma is offering prayers we all know how powerful bhishma was he say person like bhishma is offering prayer who are you you are a tiny person just go surrender so that way we are being encouraged in the scriptures okay when you see the examples of great personalities you can surrender so the first thing is so don't have maya prita gyana don't be because if you are proud you cannot approach krishna krishna you krishna is lost you lose krishna 
and the society the business is right from childhood certificate 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 actually if the moment you are born our ahankara is growing 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 i got that certificate that certificate you know i that high jump was there that long jump was there i remember i had some certificates of school um, and we used to all be keep in our file somebody comes so we show see this certificate oh very nice this certificate we are simply collecting certificates something physical and something subtle somebody says oh you are so handsome somebody says you are so bright we keep eating our and it destroys our spiritual life theek okay? hai we should know i am nothing what is the certificate simply drama what am i i left krishna's lotus feet and i want certificates now what uh, it's such a joke it is actually hai na i have been kicked out from krishna's presence and i want certificate somebody sitting in a jail metal world is only a jail and you go inside jail you showing certificate <laughs> what yaar you are a criminal <laughs> we are in criminal dress oh look at your certificate your certificate is visible you are <laughs> kaidi number 4 420 what certificate you want so similarly a material body is a certificate of our rebellion to krishna what do you want now there is all so much drama in this world kare you see krishna you cannot show your face we rebelled and left his lotus feet correct right? somebody is saying i saw krishna somebody body told what you are telling i saw krishna if you see krishna we can't show show your face will you down correct right? why so pride of saw krishna and then maya prita gana asrim bhava maashita asrim bhava maashita is totally so envious of the lord we can't handle lord's glories i am glorious therefore proper says humility means no desire to be respected that is called humility humility doesn't mean you know putting shoulders down like this i remember once when i joined the temple there was one person and he was some um, now he's still alive he's 95 year old he, he was very elderly when i joined maybe 70 year old so when he used to come to temple at the age you know all the shoulders are very down like that so i used to see him offering art so i told one devotee he's so humble so you don't know why is he humble See shoulders are so down. I said that is because of the age. <laughs> humility doesn't mean even external behavior. Humility means just just you touch that person little. If he gets agitated, he's very proud man. He's not humble. Humble man is crazy. Correct, I am crazy. He's very humble. You say you are a crazy. Huh? How do you say that? That means he's very proud actually. Externally making a show. Humility means no desire to be respected in this world. we should feel if we enter some assembly all people should take out the slippers the devotees and should feel like this that is what we should feel but we feel reverse i am not saying i am away from that okay. just like i go sometimes on travel i go into some temple and i become very angry then i know why am i angry? because in my temple when i go every time prabhu ji prabhu ji here nobody even knows you <laughs> forget prabhu ji so we have that you know in the heart so much desire to be honored and worshiped that should not be there rather we should feel if we enter a assembly of devotees hey yes come on take your slipper tha tha and we should even that happens we should feel nothing this is not enough more you should do haridas thakur we cannot imitate him but principle you should understand haridas thakur when he was being beaten in the 22 market places to death that was the plan he was praying to the lord my lord i deserve more this is nothing Uh, and please pardon them lord did not allow him to be touched he is such a pure devotee like pralad maharaj theek okay? hai so nothing happened to him but what was his attitude i deserve to be beaten more and more that is humility tat paratvena nirmalam sarvopadi vinirbuktam throw all the padis and this i am that then we can very peacefully practice krishna consciousness theek okay? hai so next so what are the four thing disqualification muda what is muda's qualification He has no time. Busy, 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 busy like an animal. That's all. Then next, and modern civilization forces people to be like that. You go to job, they don't leave you till eight o'clock in the night. Most of the jobs today, okay? Actually, the work is never more than eight hours. But somehow people, I want they want to recognize, they want to impress the boss. Otherwise, work is never more than eight. Hours. Not in eight hours, three four hours work. Any company I can write and give a challenge. Uh, it's a fact actually but somehow we want to impress the boss we keep sitting because boss will not leave off office till 10 o'clock in the night so we also sit there how can i go just pack up and go the culture has become 
to overwork it is becoming very difficult you know you also checked with the students very difficult nobody can leave office at 5 o'clock and go because all are sitting how good are even though i finished my work just keep sitting because they made a bad culture today then then mam namam namam dushkita no muda prapadende naradama what is naradama doing sinful activities then it will be very difficult to advance you nicely chant hare krishna is light a fire then go bring one ice cold water one bucket and throw over it then it will become difficult then nayam dushkita no muda prapadende naradama maya prita gyana so proud of my knowledge mm. i know what you know <laughs> i don't know anything you don't even know when you are eating food how it is digested that is your knowledge you know you know little if there is a scientist no little they know not much hmm. and then asurim bhav maashita asurim bhav maashita means so envious of the personality god and if you look honestly all the four are there in our system we have to correct we don't give enough time for reading chanting then we are still uh, at least absorbed in thinking about sinful activities maybe not be doing by krishna's grace and then we are so proud huh? what is acharya there's a proper says all has to be done in kaliyuga is that with humility just hear the words of the acharya we are saved we go back to krishna but we don't have that humility you're so proud oh, what is he telling i know and then last we are envious we hear uh, krishna married 16000 wife we get so envious when we hear that okay we cannot just handle it proper says as a devotee is a pure devotee he says even if krishna married 16 billion wives somebody asked proper uh, why did krishna marry 16000 wives so proper said even if he married 16 billion wives that is not showing his full potency he is so great you understand if krishna marries 16 billion also that many women are there not there on earth <laughs> still he is not showing his power his power is so great god is great we don't know acharya knows how great he is therefore he says that okay so these four propensities if we reduce then we can surrender to krishna shri prabhupad ki shri mad bhagavatam ki yeah. <laughs>